قام معالي الشيخ عبد الله بن راشد الخليفه سفير مملكه البحرين في الولايات المتحده بنقل قلص تعازي ومواساه حضره صاحب الجلاله الملك عهد البلاد المفدى الى اسره البروفيسور محمود شريف بسيوني داعيا المولى عز وجل ان يتغمد الفقيد بواسع رحمته ويسكنه فسيح جناته وان يلهم ذويه الصبر والسلوان حيث أعرب جلالته عن خالص المشاعر والتقدير لهذه القامة القانونية والحقوقية التي كان لها بصماتها المشهودة في مجال القانوني والدولي ويستذكر جلالته بكل التقدير والإشادة دور وعطاءات الفقيد من خلال رئاسته اللجنة البحرينية المستقلة لتقصي الحقائق وما تعرضت له البحرين من مؤامرة قادتها تدخلات خارجية لسلاف أمنها واستقرارها ومكتسباتها أنذاك والتي لم تتوقف جهوده المخلصة مع انتهاء عمل اللجنة البحرينية المستقلة بل تابع بشكل شخصي المرحلة التي تلت ذلك وساعد في تقديم المساعدة التقنية لأعضاء السلطة القضائية ورجال إنفاذ القانون من خلال معهد دراسات العلوم الجنائية بسيراكوزا جاء ذلك خلال مشاركة معالي السفير في حفل تأبين البروفيسور بسيوني الذي أقامته عائلته في مدينة شيكاغو الأمريكية وحضره عدد من القضاة والحقوقيين وأصحاب أسرة الفقيد. Ladies and gentlemen, very good evening. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the people of Bahrain, I'd like to offer our sincere and heartfelt condolences to the Bassiouni family. Elaine, Lisa, may God grant you patience during such sober times, and we continue to have you in our thoughts and prayers. We're gathered here today in honor of Professor Bassiouni and his dedication to championing accountability and upholding the rule of law. Professor Bassiouni skillfully practiced law and enriched academia while holding several degrees in higher learning. He also chaired international committees and consulted many governments over a substantial time span. He has written numerous books and has had books written about him. He has also been bestowed with dozens of awards and honors that are too lengthy to list. However, what makes Professor Bassiouni unique is the fact that in all the fields that I have just mentioned, he leaves an everlasting gift that paints him as an innovator and a visionary that does not necessarily reflect his humble approach. Thus, Professor Bassioni has received worldwide recognition with such universal consensus that future generations of law practitioners will be able to literally practice what he preached, as well as what was also preached about him. It's truly amazing what he's been able to achieve in his lifetime. Many of you might question, why is the ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States of America here with you today? I'll try to sum it up in a couple of sentences. Through His Majesty's appointment of Professor Bassiouni, as chairman of the Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry, a lasting impression on Bahrain and its citizens was left behind. His experience and credibility added yet another layer to the foundation of our independent institutions. Professor Bassiouni's transparency, articulation, and fact-finding mission pointed towards the truth that was hard to ignore. His Majesty the King recognized the imperative role and sacrifices Professor Bassiouni underwent through his chairmanship of the BICI. Professor Bassiouni also referred to the foundation, to the formulation of the commission as a landmark in the history of commissions. And it was his stature that put Bahrain at ease and earned the full and unconditional support of Bahrain's government that resulted in a report that was well received locally and abroad for its transparency and impartial nature. As a sovereign island nation with a history of foreign intercession, 
our security and stability are dear to us, and any attempt of overreach is offset by His Majesty's wide leadership and the men and women he has bestowed upon his trust and confidence. Professor Bassioni is a fine example. While he remains with us in spirit, his legacies are indeed tangible and remarkable in achievement. Professor Bassioni was awarded the highest honor in Bahrain not too long ago, where His Majesty granted him the Bahrain Medal First Class Order in recognition of his hard work and dedication. And as I said earlier, we are gathered here today to honor Professor Bassioni, as well as console his family, just like he was there for us when it meant the most. He shall be dearly missed. <laughs>